Okay, a long, long time ago, I really wanted to purchase a decent oscilloscope. And back in the day, I used to use Tektronix and Hewlett Packards, but they were all two, three, four thousand quid a piece. But it didn't make much difference to me because I was in the RAF and they just gave me them to play with and use. But over the years I've really wanted something not as good as a Tektronic or a HP, but something I could actually see what's going on with Logic Analyzer. So I purchased this little guy. I hope you can make it out, but it's a PC-based oscilloscope. It's two-channel and it's uh, fed USB to the PC and if you can see there is a flashing green light there somewhere in the corner saying that it's indeed connected and running the PC based application and here's the little home page if you like um, because this device not only has an oscilloscope function, it has a digital analyzer function, which you probably can't see unless I shine a torch at it, which if you just bear in mind, I'll grab hold of my mag light. And you can see here all the connectors for the I'll try and do it. There you go. All the connectors for the logic analyzer, which I have to admit I have not tried yet. But now we go back down here and it's already running here. So here it is PC based oscilloscope, two channel. Both channels currently attached to the uh, what is it? I think it's a 1K square wave. Possibly it's just a test channel and setup channel if you like because each of these probes have a capacitor that has to be adjusted to make sure you get a nice square wave. And of course everything on the screen is <laughs> screen operated of course. A stupid statement that was. Um, I guess I'm not really getting a good coverage of this lot. Oh, that's a bit better. There you can see the horizontal, vertical and vertical. And not a bad square wave. You can see there's a little noise on the top and bottom of each of these pulses. But for, I forget what it was now, about 42 quid maybe. It's a perfect little oscilloscope for me and substantially better than the um, Chinese kits I've bought because um, they have tiny tiny screens um, and don't really work that well but I mean if you just want to look at what's going on on a logic board or even an analog board it makes no odds you can't do better than this i think it's great thank you bye